I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make AEW Collision and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. It was a show. Despite everything that happened with CM Punk and basically this show being created around CM Punk, it was a show. They mentioned it, and then it was over. Now, the question is, what's the future going to be for this show? They literally made Collision to bring back CM Punk. That's it. And now since CM Punk is gone, what are they going to do with this? I hope they get rid of it because a Saturday show is stupid. And let me just be honest with you, I am glad I watched Payback over Collision. Well, last night. So Ricky Starks challenging Ricky Steamboat in a strap match for All Out. I liked this segment. Not only that, but Brian Danielson returning to face Ricky Starks in this strap match. And they did this well. I did not expect Danielson at all. So with that being said, I'm glad that they did this. Because, you know, Ricky Steamboat is old as shit. He's definitely not going to be wrestling anytime soon. And Ricky Starks needs to be put back into a really good position. And I think him versus Danielson will be that catalyst to really propel him into something more than he even is now. So I'm going to give this a full thumbs up. It was a good way to start off the show. Ricky Starks has really taken his heel character into strides, and I hope that he continues to be a manager for Big Bill, too. I like the team. Let's see where we go with it. For the Trios Champions, for this is for the titles, the first title defense of the acclaimed, and they're facing off against Jericho Appreciation Society. Why? Could you have waited? Did they win? anything to get this title opportunity or was it just we need the tag team champions on the line or the trios champions or whatever the fuck they are let's just throw them out there and then all out there will be another trios champion match we went from the house rules where the house of black looked absolutely dominant in every single match to this random title matches the title belts are ridiculous the team is just meh i, I liked house of black more at least with the house rules, there was like a gimmick around it. This is just whatever. The House of Black invited teams to go after them. This is not an open challenge. It's not their gimmick. It's just a random match created by Nose Candy Con. Might drop for the win. Obviously, the fucking Jericho Appreciation Society aren't going to be winning these belts anytime soon. Orange Cassidy thumbs down. Random match, Aussie Open taking on Commander and Nick Wayne. They promoted Nick Wayne and Commander as like these two top prospect signings, and now they're just in a random title match. What the hell? Did I say random title match? A random tag team match. I'm getting so confusedly frustrated that I'm botching over here. It was Coriolis for the win. It was fine. Uh, I did like the post-match, though. Nick Wayne does convey emotion actually very well. So he basically was saying that Darby Allen should not have forgiven A.R. Fox for the attack on Nick Wayne. And to be honest with you, I can see that. I thought it was dumb too. But then Darby Allen comes out and does his little sob story about Nick Wayne's father and the fact that Darby had an issue there. But the thing is, is that, is that IRL? If it's IRL, then cool. But if it's not, then I don't care. Stop making shit up. If you're going to have something so raw and emotional, it has to be real. But then Christian Cage came out, insulted families, who the fuck cares? Nah. Orange Cassidy thumbs down, and literally the only reason it's Orange Cassidy thumbs down is because the post-match was okay. The match was a nothing burger. Oh my god. Alright. Dennis Rodman. I'm not a big basketball guy. I know about Dennis Rodman, the worm. He was very controversial in the late 90s, early 2000s when he was an active player. And he was very good. But good lord, the dude is 62 and he looks like he's 72. The dude can barely move. He looked ancient. I mean ancient. So anyway, Team Jarrett comes out. They mentioned the New World Order without mentioning the New World Order. Then the Acclaimed came out to help because Team Jarrett were about to attack them, and that's where we set up the trios match. And Dennis Rodman will be in their corner. 
I'm sure if I was in Chicago, Dennis Rodman being there would be a bigger deal, but I don't care. Dennis Rodman has not been relevant in the world of professional wrestling since the NWO days, and him just randomly showing up here and doing this is stupid. It gets a thumbs down. The Outcast versus Dr. Britt Baker, Hikaru Shida, and Chris Statlander. Ah, Soraya's first match as the women's champion is in a random, know-nothing, couldn't-care-less trios match. Tony Storm's presentation is fine, though. I do like the whole woe-is-me, grabbing-my-pearl-necklace sort of thing. It's just so radically different from the rest of the outcasts, and I kind of wish they played into more of that dissension within the outcast, but they, they really didn't. It was a match, and it was a no future on Britt Baker, which surprised me for the win. Can't believe Britt Baker got pinned out of all of them. I, I was expecting a uh, Hikaru Shida, but no. All right. And Ruby Soho got the pin. Okay. To promote the TBS championship match, did it work? No. But was it there? Sure. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down. It was fine. It was just there. I wouldn't even consider this a match. Powerhouse Hobbs versus Great Point Average. It's, it's not, but it's GPA. So that's sort of where I get from that. One hit, Spinebuster. That's it. Then Miro comes out. They attack each other. I... I don't care about this rivalry at all, and it gets a thumbs down. Actually, you know what? It gets a thumbs down and a fuck you. Not to really anybody else but Tony Khan, because you have two guys, Powerhouse Hobbs and Miro, who are incredibly wasted here. And you could have pushed this along a little bit, and I want more of a reason than he attacked me. And in our main event, Jay White versus Dax Harwood. It was a fun main event overall. Uh, it was Blade Runner for Jay White to win. I thought that was kind of interesting. And the Young Bucks help out FTR. Conveniently, after CM Punk left, that's when the Young Bucks show up here on Collision. It, 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 I'll give it a full thumbs up. I did really like the match, and I hope this does lead into another tag title match with Bullet Club Gold and FTR. I doubt that's going to happen, but you never know. But that was Collision. Let me know what you thought about either in the comments down below or right over here. Subscribe to the channel or follow the channel, depending on where you're watching this on. And join us tonight. Uh, Peanut Gallery and I will be talking about four pay-per-views. So that should be fun. As always, be majestic. Oh, and that's a uh, link in the bio or in the description.